welcome back to uh, another episode of Sub Arcade, where if you thought last episode was steamy and sexual, then this episode's really gonna have something in store for you. Something big, something hot, something mmm, gooey. Because we're going on a lunch date with Sans. <laughs> You're really gonna cream in your pants in this one. <laughs> <laughs> on a very special subarcade. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Hello. Hello. Hold on a second, boys. Let me redo that intro in this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the man of a thousand All voices, right. Anthony from Retro Roulette, is joining us on Undertale. <laughs> oh, it's more like 15, not a thousand, but I still <laughs> appreciate the compliment. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's 15 more right, than us. So, so uh,. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Then you don't want to be this little guy? Yeah, sure. Yo! Are you sneaking out here to... Uh... Awesome. She's the <laughs> coolest, right? I just want to be like her when I grow up. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Were your parents? Actually, I, I love that fucking voice for him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it. yeah it's like a. Hi, right, Steven. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? <laughs> Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Hell yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're just there? Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Greetings, Sans! Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy! Sansy? Sansy? <laughs> Cute. Hey, hey Sans, oh. weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least in a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here you go, Comfy. Oh, here. <laughs> here, here you go, Comfy. <laughs> Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Did you hear that, Lainey? Ew! What'd you do? Sometimes weirdos just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Hell yeah. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Do I want fries or a burger? Uh, fries. Hell yeah. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy. We'll have a double order of fries. Does he just? Okay, uh, just hold on. Wait. Just make sure you say no to uh, ketchup. Okay. okay. I was going to say no to ketchup anyway. <laughs> so what do you think of my brother? Uh, I'm cool. Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? Uh. My brother is a real <laughs> star. He's the person who pushed me to get the sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes it's nice to have someone call you out on being lazy. Even though... Even though nothing could be further from the truth. I like being lazy. Same. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. More for me. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to vomit. Anyway, cool or not, it is like ketchup's dripping out of me. God. You have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. <laughs> how he keeps Bless trying you. to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. <laughs> Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him, him warrior training. Yeah. It's a uh, still work in progress. I can tell. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to ask you something. I like how I'm just standing on the chair. Yeah. I have to... Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flyer to play a trick on him. <coughs> Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Hell yeah. I don't think it's an echo flower. 
Well, that was a long break. I you can't believe I let you, you pulled me away from that work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Ah, it's Sans. just a uh, ten thousand gold. No. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, thanks. <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> you want to go talk to uh, the dog? This guy? Yeah. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talk to the lesser dog too. Which one's this? I don't know. Oh, that's 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 dog of me. <clears throat> I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interloper. Apparently, anything it's you. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. <laughs> Then his brother gets mad, but why? We're adults, we can handle it. <laughs> Sans is interesting. He was told me all about kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Sansy, come <laughs> back and sit with me. Jesus! Everything's so fun when you're around. I love how you use that voice for the small, cute thing, and the cute voice for the tall, terrible-looking thing. Yeah, he's weird-looking. He, he, yeah, he's horrifying. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Um, I want to talk... I but I definitely... Uh, uh, <laughs> but I definitely want to see city slickers slip into their butts. Slip on their butts. Into their butts. <laughs> Jukebox is broken. Of course it is. <laughs> no talk. Let's do dog. Let's do dog. He's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh, what a little baby! <laughs> it's losing poker against itself. What a big old. And he's happy about it. <laughs> Look how you happy know. He as is. long as he's having a good time. <laughs> okay, you're done. Sands is the most regular, regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently. Sans is a sentry, but don't look, let, let his title make you think he does anything. <laughs> Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading Carmack <coughs> scenes. <laughs> Why was that in yellow? He's a smoking problem. We've already talked to everyone. This town does Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did that without you. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I see how it is. That's, that's cool. You know, it's fine. You're, yeah. you're pooping. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to go right, huh? Yeah, you have to go right. I think there's that shortcut over here. Dude, Ash No, it's actually... Uh, it's faster to just walk at this point. Oh, okay. Rigby is... The Barbie. Steven's fat cat is sitting on my legs, and they're falling asleep. <laughs> Ugh. Move them. I can't. He gets mad. It's against the law to move a sleeping cat. Yeah. If they're on you. Anyway. And he gets really mad. Sorry, boss. I'm <laughs> gonna be late for work. There's a cat on me. <laughs> Can't come to work. Say no my, more, fam. My cat's on me. <laughs> God, my boss say no more, fam. This old guy. Let's we'll save because I'm like that. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. 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 Oh man, my tongue feels stiff. This is a box. Oh yeah, we know what to do with this. Blah blah blah. blah box hater. Oh, that was different dialogue. Whatever. Don't oh. get hit by those rockins. No. The rock'em sock'ems. What does this flower say? I swore I saw something behind that rushing yeah. water. Yes. That yes. <laughs> oh, Steven. <laughs> oh, Steven. <laughs> huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Oh. Oh, ho. Try behind the other one, fall, one on top. Mmm. You did that really well. Good job. Pressed. Oh, these are the rocks I have to look out for, I think. Ugh. Oh, Steven. There we go. <gasps> what did I find? There's a tutu There's lying. There's a tutu. <laughs> Hell yeah, put it on. Will you take it? Yes. Yeah. You got the old tutu. Let's get rid of my mandana. Yes. 
Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally, a protective piece of armor. Finally. Yeah, okay. Finally, a tutu. Holy shit. Pretty mad if you're not really wearing it. Yeah, right. That's my mainly ass bandana in here. Mandana. That would have caused the dog more effort. What? <laughs> that would have caused the dog more effort to display the uh, armor you're wearing. Oh. Okay. The dog works. The dog worked hard enough. Give okay. the dog a break. That's true. Yeah, Lenny. The, <coughs> the pesky little dogs you see in this game are the are the creator. Aww. That's that's another Earthbound reference. Lenny, you're this girl, with the red hair. Okay. Yeah, sound, I need I need you to sound like a badass when you talk to her. Oh. <coughs> uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Huh? Did I- I fight them? Yes, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard on thine, but in the end... I failed. With what you're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them! <clears throat> you see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Steven, what do you do? Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Lenny, put on your warrior voice. I don't have a warrior voice. I'll no, just think of Buffy. Does that help? <laughs> no. Yeah, be bad guy. Deep in your voice and sound like a badass. <laughs> Lenny, I believe in you. Yes. Oh, yeah, Lenny. At the same time, I need you to sound like this kid, too. <laughs> Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. <sighs> What'd you do to get her attention, huh? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. That's me. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have arms. Oh yeah. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Huh? I like how he just kind of like pulls his face off the ground. Yeah, right. When four bridge seeds align in the in the water, they will sprout. <laughs> nice. You sound like little squeaky toys? Yeah. Squeak! <laughs> like, they just put it on your head. It's cute. <laughs> Good way to hold stuff. Aw, look at those flower, flower uh, petals. Wait. It's a flower bridge. What is this? Oh, it's nothing. Just a, just a, yeah. just a book crack. Miyamoto has trained you well. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron flexes, flexes in. in. Holy shit. I don't have a bomb. Oh, I should uh, flex. flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack creases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Oh shit, someone sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should we flex again? Nah, shoo. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow! Spunky! Love it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we have to keep flexing. Oh, do you? Yeah, I think so. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack reaches for you, too. Nice! I won't lose, though! <laughs> His little winky face. Whoa! So silly. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, no. So much flexing. Oh, he punched me. What should I do, Lanny? I guess keep flexing, dude. Fle flexing. He flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself himself out of the room. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I love it. Well, that's just a little ridiculous. You ask me. Does this mean anything? I forgot. No, that that doesn't. Not in this room. It'll mean something in a different way down the line. And you fucked up. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think you just fucked that up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Woof the doodle! As he rings the bell. Now, for those of you at home, and you fucked it up again. Let's just keep fucking up. 
Why? Okay, hi. Why? <laughs> um, for those of you at home who are wondering, Steven has played through this before. I have played through this more times than I care to admit. And Lainey, Lainey has never played through this before. So if she sounds confused, it's a good thing. She has no idea what to expect. No, I know like some bosses, but other than that, I got nothing. And you fucked it up again. <laughs> oh, it you have to do four? Yeah. It has to be four. Oh yeah, okay. that would float to that one side. There are two solutions to this puzzle. I think I and I am it. not going to tell you either. This is actually getting kind of... Nope. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! <story. laughs> Throw it in the water. So mad! Let's see. It's literally right in front of you. Do that. Oh no, I'm wrong. Just kidding. I yeah, lied. Cause it'll... It'll do that. And then... And then it'll do that. <laughs> And uh, no. Well, as uh, as then candidate Trump said, wrong. <laughs> oh, I haven't done that at all yet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't broken that that voice out. Huh? Maybe I'll give, maybe I'll give one of the monsters. I was gonna voice. say, I think you need to give an enemy a Trump voice. Okay, fantastic, tremendous. I can't wait to give. One of the uh, the oh. and his voice. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Everybody's gonna love it. Everybody agrees. <laughs> <laughs> also, you figured it out. Congratulations, Steven. Good Yay. job. I know how to puzzle. Do you? Yeah. The other solution to this puzzle, uh, Chris knows because he actually did it. And I walked out of the room, walked back in, saw the bridge, and I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> that is not how I did it." But okay, Reef. reflex, but okay. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! <laughs> yeah! So, what are you wearing? Wow! I'm asking for a friend! She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu! Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Tell him no. Alright. No. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it! You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day! Click. Yeah, he's trying to fucking get you. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Okay, Steven. Yeah. Putting a moratorium on you whispering for the for, for the flowers. More more what? I'm putting a moratorium on that, meaning never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands I mean, of people wishing together can't be wrong. <laughs> the king will prove that. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is actually less irritating. <laughs> Washua. Washua. Up. Should I check him out? Uh, yeah. I so think instead of instead of Joshua, you know, Joshua, Washua. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. I think you need to wash it. Scrub a dub. Scrub a dub dubs. Tweet. Tweet. It's soap. Oh. Smells like detergent. What should I do, Luna? Clean. Okay, let's clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No, it doesn't. Ah. Da, 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 da. Yay! Yay! Hey, you're figuring it out. What happens if you touch it? I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. <laughs> as, as Steven sacrifices his throat to the voice acting gods. <laughs> Seems my horse pope at least not last you week. You sound like you're in so much pain. How can you not do that better? <laughs> Jesus. Look through the telescope? Not right now. I think there's something funny up here, isn't there? Uh, oh, well, I'm I thinking mean, of something else. I'm thinking of the crystal, you know what I'm thinking of? Yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking of, and don't worry, you are. Get, we'll get the crystal. We'll get that crystal. <gasps> uh, <laughs> but I want Lainey to, to really play that part, though. It's very important that she's behind the controls for that. What? Okay. Alright, so let's look through the telescope. 
So you kind of figured it out already, but it tells you to just check the wall. And, um... And that's, that's basically it. So you look at the two corners there. It just says send nudes. <laughs> it says send dinner. Whoa. Good job. Yay. You didn't it. This is really nothing. All right. Ancient writings cover the walls. You, you can go. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Go ahead, advance it. War of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Not mine. But humans <laughs> have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Is that what that red-headed bitch is? We'll see. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Steven, I am pretty sure our audience can read, and if they can't, hot damn, what grade are you in? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Can you read? Also, fuck! Ask your parents what that means. <laughs> Walk in the room and tell your dad he's a cook. <laughs> Ask your mom a for cook? a devil's triangle. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that, Steven! That, that, that. <laughs> Ask your mom for, or your dad for a devil's so triangle. Holy shit, Steven! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I couldn't appreciate your joke because I got distracted by this bitch. Oh, Sorry. Judge Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking a-hole. God, I Seriously. know. He's just the goddamn worst little baby man. God. But he's like, what's a devil's triangle, Mr. Kavanaugh? Uh, uh, uh it's, um, it's a sport. <laughs> it's a sport maneuver. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a sport you play with your boys. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a good... Oh, man. Uh. Politics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watching watching Republicans lie should be a sport. <laughs> God, it should, right? No, no. Oh, it got my friend. <laughs> Just puts it down. And, Gee, Mrs., that what, really hurt. <coughs> uh, audience, I apologize if I sound like I'm dying. I just got home from a football game, and I've been out outside in the cold all day, and I feel like shit. I also feel like shit, so we're in the same boat, but not for the same reason. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, you were so unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> Can you wash your face with no hands? Yeah, you just gotta yeah, sure. You just gotta dip your face in the water. That's not really washing it. Steven, Steven, to the right. You, you need to go to the right. Tooty <laughs> toot. I farted. Why do you have to announce it to everyone? Let them know. Oh, and Steven, how are we doing on time? Yeah, it's next time. Whoa, who's that baby? Huh. Three we gold, gold for a fairy. No. Huh. I wonder where they take Later Hold on. then. Um, at the beginning of our next episode, would you mind if we actually, like, took that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, cool. So, uh, next time on Slip Arcade, <laughs> uh, we are going to delve deeper into the dark depths of Waterfall to see what awaits us. I mean, Steven and I know what awaits us, but Lainey <laughs> has no idea what's coming, and it's gonna be a good time. Hell yeah, boys. Boy! Boys! Steven, that's my thing. If you ever do that again, I will end you! Mm -hmm. You don't know where we live. Also, also, if you, um, so because you've committed this horrible and, uh, chargeable offense, 
you're not getting a boy at the end of this episode. Oh, oh. you ruined it. I'm punishing. I'm punishing the audience for your for for your misdoings. Chris is like sighing and yeah. Chris is like, thank God. Oh, shit, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye everyone. <laughs> oh.